Hello everybody, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Sister Girl Readings, people. Okay, so I hope y'all checked out my Taurus and my Leo video. The motherfuckers was... <sighs> it's it, right? Alright, um, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm still post socks on Facebook, you know, I had a rant um, about how I feel that Zuckerberg don't care about people. Um, they don't really, Zuckerberg don't give a shit about people of color. He wants to take pictures with people of color, but he don't want to actually be part. I'm going to put this book right here because for some reason, this wants to like move. And I'm not feeling it at all. I'm feeling like my fucking nerves. I'm just going to pop my camera up a little bit. Let's go. Alright. So, anyways, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you need a personal reading, please email me at um, Miss April Nicole, the CEO, um, at sistergirlreadings.com or sistergirlreadings at email.com. I'm going to do Aries. So, today I'm doing Aries and um, Aries and hmm, Gemini. Aries and Gemini for now. Alright, guys, I just got there doing a reading for some young lady. She wasn't an Aries, but it might be my Aries friend. Um, she be coming for readings, and she's so irritated because, like, she'll get a reading from me and then get a reading with someone else, and that reading be off, and then my reading be mostly accurate. And she'd be like, eh. So, like, Aries, I know, can be very impatient. So, I know y'all probably looking at me like, bitch, this reading's supposed to have been done. Fuck you at. Look, 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 look. Okay, Aries, you are the other fire sign I forgot. Trust me, I'm coming around, okay? <laughs> Alright, Aries, let's see what you got for the end of the month, December, with your Christmas ass. Miss Fortune, shit. Wedding. Okay, so, number one, if you're thinking about getting married at the end of the year, hell no. Miss Fortune is about something that is disastrous. Maybe you went to a wedding and it caught on fire and there was a disaster at somebody's wedding, somebody was turning up. And let them curling irons on, and that motherfucker went to flames. Um, um, but I do see misfortune being with someone who has a, something that is devastatingly sad. It could be about a wedding. Maybe the wedding didn't go right. Maybe they pay all that fucking money, and that shit did not end up the way it hoped. Uh, or that event went on fucking fire. Or some relationship is a detrimental situation, and you should not be getting involved. What is misfortune for Aries? What the fuck? Okay, let's see. Um, prison. Okay, so somebody has going to jail. So somebody could have destroyed a wedding. Maybe somebody was jealous. Um, maybe somebody, um, again, they thought it would be cool or funny or cute to destroy someone's happiness on their special day. And that's why they ass up in jail. Or... Misfortune can be about a person who feels like they need to think before they make a, mis a, a misfortunate accident. What is the misfortune card in prison? Let's see. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Aries. Room. Hmm. Someone is contemplating or thinking or making an agreement or having a secret meeting. Okay, so someone could have had a secret meeting, and it could have been how to blow up this place. I'm not saying that you were going to blow up something. I'm just saying that that's what like me. Somebody met with someone, they had a, uh, some type of secret meeting or some type of secret agreement between exchange between two people. It was private. Um, it could have been in a prison room about a misfortune or some type of situation happened at a wedding. Um, the prison room, someone could have thought about or they're in a room and they're waiting to they contemplate a thought about a misfortune. Let's see, why is misfortune even here in the Aries reading? Let's get some more information about that. Consolation. Okay, so someone to get what they wanted clearly cheerfulness someone didn't like that party so i get an ex i get somebody saw you getting fabulously married you was happy you was living abundantly and someone felt like they didn't get what they wanted they felt like they were cheated and the cheerfulness is like sadness so they're like oh for real so they in the room look turning up looking at you funny and they hating on you because you got your fucking relationship of your fucking dreams and somebody's like oh hell no i object you got yourself a hater what is the wedding card for aries fuck uh uh, waiting. So the waiting is over. Bow and gift. Okay, so someone could have came into your wedding, pretend to be your friend. Oh yeah, girl, you know I like you. And then they really don't like your wedding dress, or they don't like you, or they don't like your relationship. 
someone is coming in, pretending to be a gift from God or a gift to your relationship or a gift in some type of fashion or form or they're giving you something, wisdom, words, knowledge, expansion, money, whatever. So someone could be coming to your wedding with a gift. And really, they the wait is over. They come in full form. They come to play games. They're corrupt or false. You let them in your life, though. Um, let's see. What is the foe and the false in this card? Someone is flattering you, but they don't really want to be your friend. Conversation. It's best for you to even speak to this person. Um, house, service, and money. Okay, so someone, for others of you, um, this could be about a home. Maybe you got a service, but it costs you a whole lot of fucking money. Uh, maybe you're trying to buy a home and your realtor is uh, giving you service and they're trying to help you because they're trying to make their commission and the, the fucking financial aspects of this shit is fucking enormous. Like, you're like, mm -mm. this house can be expensive. Uh, what is money reverse for Aries? Somebody's like, I'm not fucking paying for that fucking house. That house is expensive as hell. Uh, we got young woman. So it could be a young woman that's broke, melancholy. She could be sad. This could be her dream home thought she had her heart and her mind set on it and so the home is like out of reach um it could not be worth the money okay so let's get out to the oracle part of your reading um how does aries feel about this situation because we got to find out how aries feel which is fast fast and patient ass aries um how do you feel about this situation with the misfortune and the wedding okay so a lot of cards came out um, hope. You don't really have much hope in this situation. Faithfulness. Someone is not faithful. You don't even trust them to be faithful. They're a cheating ass liar. Um, waiting. So you're no longer waiting on this person. Prison could be about your thoughts. Maybe you're consumed with thoughts that you don't tell anybody. And scholar, you could be thinking illogical thoughts. Maybe you're trapped in some illogical thinking. Um, what is waiting reverse for Aries? Okay, so... Uh, consistency in size. So um, someone is not being faithful or consistent. Uh, this woman no longer sighs for you. So that could be about a woman who is no longer interested. Um, she's just broken her consistency or her uh, commitment. Uh, she's no longer interested and the waiting period is over. This could have been a friend of yours, but you just don't feel like it's going to be anything. The whole situation is illogical as hell and you're just ready to move on. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what is the upcoming year for Aries? Okay, so we got falseness. We got despair. So you're coming into the new year um, and foe. So there's someone in your atmosphere that is not going to stop fucking with you. You let them in and they're just here. They're working within their limitations to be fake and phony to you. Or there could be some type of secret that's going to get out. Uh, maybe they expose some type of secret and cause some type of despair or jealousy. Someone is very jealous of you. They're sneaking into your life to cause havoc. What is the despair card for Aries? I mean, rising? Priest and young woman. Okay, so someone needs a fucking priest or someone needs some fucking therapy. Um, this person is very jealous. They lost their man or they lost the relationship and they're fucking going through like some type of emotional breakdown or they're like everywhere in their thoughts and they're bringing the shit to your door, Aries. What is the falseness card? For Aries, what is this card? And I wanna, it's all about this man too. Maybe it's about a father or somebody. Okay, so some friend of yours, falseness could be a fake person. Um, they're trying to work within the limitations to, to throw you off. What is the faux card? And it goes right with the faux card too, y'all. Um, thieves, someone is, um, maybe they didn't steal anything from you, but they left a mark. So you kind of feel some type of way about this person. Like, even if they're gone, you just feel like you gotta side eye them and watch them. Um, the messenger, so maybe you got a message about someone using you and then being unfaithful, and maybe this person delivered the message. Um, joyfulness and haughtiness, yeah, it seems like someone was happy about delivering the message. Um, they were proud to do so. Uh, but you you just feel like it's business as usual. You're not being frivolous. Um, people are taking advantage of you, you know it, and it could really be a house out of control. Maybe it's somebody else's shit, but you're just like, you know, smooth sailing as usual. Okay, so let's back this up with the road. Okay, so what is the spirit? Most high power the messages for Aries. Uh, we got the world and Ace of Pentacles. So in other news, there is an Aries who is going to be famous or they're going to go graduate and they're going to go straight into a job. 
you're going to go from graduation stage to a job or you guys are going to go straight into a world accomplishment for your endeavors or whatever you put into the universe and it's going to be lucrative look at the ace of pentacles someone is getting some money someone is excited someone's getting out of a, a recession with that five of pentacles someone is not homeless anymore it's the springtime springtime right around the corner and then Ace of Cups, someone is doing something they love. So Ace of Cups, you are definitely, see, ten of, see somebody's family's happy. Someone could be moving areas. You could be getting the fuck out of there. Someone is definitely compl completing a lot of milestones. Like, they seriously got them, they got their bag. They they love life is lit or it will be lit. They'll be getting a new opportunity. Could be golden. What's the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups for Aries? Somebody got it going on right here. The Strength card and the Five of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone is uh, recovering. Someone is using their intellectualism. Someone is recovering some type of hardship. Um, maybe things didn't work out in your love life, in your job life, and now you're just banging. Um, you could still be a bitch, though. Like, you could be really hurt and upset about some things. Or this could be your queen of swords. could be someone around you that's jealous of you, of your opportunities. Five of Wands. Maybe you got a lot of opportunities. You keep brutally reading people up. Like, not in a bad way, but, like, opportunity-wise. Somebody like, oh, fuck you then. What's the Five of Pentacles for Aries? Okay, so nine of wands. Yeah, you went through a lot the ringer, but you still you kept fighting, you kept holding your own, Aries. Temperance, you could be um friends with a Sagittarius. So you got Sagittarius in your chart, moon or rising. Um, still got a long way to go. But you're balancing out that fight. Um, you're no longer you you had a lot of bad decisions, you got clarity about it, and you're ending the delirium. Maybe you're ending chapters in your life that just don't make sense. Okay, let's see. What is the judgment card reversed for Aries? Yeah, someone is making clarity. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and Nine of Cups. Ooh, shit. Okay, so someone made a decision, a bad decision of great importance. So listen up. This is important. There is a wish coming, and it's coming at rapid fire. Someone's going to get a job or multiple jobs. So don't miss your opportunity because there's a wish at Eight of Wands. Something's going to come at you fast, Aries, and you're going to have to juggle it for a while. So don't, don't, don't fuck that up. It's not something to do with moon magic or work or maybe some intuitive stuff or maybe using your intuition to attract money, but you're burning yourself out. You could be working with your mom. For other you guys are leaving, going into the world, could be something new that you're doing. Um, but maybe you're leaving an old relationship because you found something out that really bothered you. Uh, you found out you were the side chick and you disappointed. You're like, fuck that. And then, you, you again, you just marching on and you kind of depressed about it. you kind of sad. You kind of feel like that's kind of fucked up. But you're getting over it, though. You got all this financial wealth to look at. I mean, Jesus, Aries, what are you doing? Uh, let's see. What is it? What are we going to end this reading with for Aries? Okay, high priestess. There could be some type of secret. Or you could just feel like you don't have enough energy to emotionally do something. The star is about some type of secret celebrity. Or it could be about not feeling like you're up to par for healing. Um, let's see. What is the high priestess for Aries? High priestess for Aries. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Okay, it could be a job. But the job is chaotic as fuck. Like... <sighs> going to school or something something isn't something ain't working what is the knight of swords like someone could be argumentative or maybe someone that's dramatic okay so judgment to a wand okay so someone has this job can be really quick and it makes you make quick decisions um you have a lot of options you're just like man what should i do should i take this to do you got a lot of opportunities you're just like man what opportunity do i want to take Aries don't never know what the fuck they want to do. Be careful, though. You could be clinging on to the past. They're getting all these opportunities to fuck up and end up in a bad situation. Death is the ending. Maybe this could be the ending of clinging to the past or clinging to old lovers. But there's definitely a Scorpio here twice. And the moon and three of pentacles. Um, with this relationship, you don't know where you stand. You you are self-deluded and the relationship is falling apart. Okay? All right, Aries, so let me know how you think about that reading. That's interesting as hell. You always got good readings, but it seemed like 
no matter what's happening to you, someone trying to interfere with your relationships, they just ain't getting in because Aries' ass ain't going. And they got that bag, so Aries' ass ain't going to never be checked. Okay? So let me know what you think about this reading, y'all. And I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.